daily or every eight hours is maintenance. Attachment. Before performing work, read the operation and maintenance manual for operation details. Inspection items are as shown in the table. Hook and latch. Check the sheave, bearing and latch of the hook block for damage, and check the bolt and nut for missing. Check that the latch works properly. Cable roller and guide roller. Check these parts for damage, deformation and wear. Sheave. Check each sheave for damage, deformation, crack and wear. Particularly in the case of plastic sheaves, adequate inspection is necessary in operating environments where the ambient temperature exceeds 40 degrees Celsius. Replace the sheave which exceeding the usable limit. Refer to the operator's manual for the usable limits of each sheave. Ensure that the bearing snap rings are properly installed. Boom and jib. Check the boom and jib for damage, deformation and rust. Do not use the damaged and or deformed boom and jib. Be sure to replace the damaged boom and jib with new ones, or repair. Due to the high-strength steels used in boom and jibs, special repair procedures are required. Contact authorized Cabelco distributor for repair. Pin, Lincoln Cotter Pin. Check the pin, Lincoln Cotter pin for damage and missing. Bolt and nut. Check the bolt and nut for looseness and missing. Backstop. Check these backstops for damage and deformation. Special procedures are required for repair. Contact authorized Cabelco distributor for repair. Ensure that the backstop is correctly erected to prevent boom inversion. Ensure that the backstop does not come off the backstop receiving position by pushing and pulling the backstop to the left or right. strut Check the strut for damage, deformation and unusual play. Special procedures are required for repair. Contact authorized Cabelco distributor for repair.
wire rope and guy line. Check the wire rope and guy line for damage and deformation and wear. Signs are, kink, crushing, unstranding, birdcage, core failure protrusion, significant corrosion, electric arc damage. Also inspect socket and end conditions. Do not use the wire rope and guy line sustaining damages beyond regulations described. Refer to the operator's manual for inspection and replacement standards for wire ropes. Hoist wire rope clamp bolt. Make sure the rope end on the hook side is properly installed with the rope socket. Install the rope socket in the correct direction. Ensure that the bolts securing the hoist wire rope to the drum flange are securely tightened, and the painted section of the wire rope is correctly positioned. Rust, painting condition. Apply touch P paint to the place where the paint is peeled off. If the rust has appeared, remove the rust thoroughly. Wait. Check the weight of hook over hottest preventive limit switch for the wares and if existing, replace it immediately. If wearing progressed of the weight, the wire rope may get caught and the limit switch may malfunction. If the weight is worn, the connecting bolts, cylindrical type, may be grinded, 